Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, today we're going to give a little try out to this new uh, RV lock we've been hearing a lot about. Uh, we purchased this item for our Altos RV 270 RKS. This is the right hand side, the V4 uh, for right handed. Uh, this is the one that works for our trailer. Uh, comes with the, the fob, the keypad, two sets of keys. Says it's a 10 minute install. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check that theory. Uh, it looks pretty easy. About four screws to install the factory one. Drop this one in. Uh, came with one fob. Uh, three or four AA batteries, I believe. Uh, take the run. It. Yep, four AA batteries. Um, not much to it, apparently, to get it in. Uh, so we'll go ahead and install this. Uh, wife and I have been looking for uh, something if we're uh, split up different directions and... I have a key. She doesn't have a key. We used to be leaving one of those uh, little lock boxes hanging on the handle with a set of keys in it. But uh, this looks to solve that problem uh, as we'll have a access code that we can just punch in to get in. Um, so if I have the keys in the fob or vice versa, we should be able to get in regardless. So we'll go ahead and uh, do an install video on this and then a follow up and see how we like it. Stay tuned. So we're here at our trailer and we're going to swap out the existing door uh, latch that we have here for the new uh, RV lock. As you can see here, it opens this direction and uh, the longer windows on the titanium additions come down uh, past the door latch. So it would be a different uh, model of door latch, a door lock for the ones with the longer window that comes down. Go ahead and uh, first step here is remove the four screws that are on there and we also have a strike plate. I'm assuming it's referring to this one here. Uh, those two screws on that as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take all of those off. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started on that. That just easily removes. Let's go ahead and remove the strike plate. Alright, strike plate cover is removed. And go ahead and pivot the handle out. That easy. All right, go ahead and have the lock installed with the power cable pulled through and we're going to go ahead and secure it with the stripe plate and the two screws provided. make the connection here and we should hear a uh, confirmation beep uh, providing the batteries are good and that is correct we did hear a confirmation beep and there is an on off switch located in here and it says in the on position for the key fob to work so keep that in mind and we're going to align the back handle tucking the excess wires in and hold the back of the handle closed while inserting the paddle tooth into the front handle housing. So that would be the paddle tooth on the bottom here um, into the, the key lock position. And then we're going to insert the four screws and tighten it down. As we see here, uh, the default code on these is one, two, three, four. And the deadbolt is locked. So we'll do one, two, three, four, unlock. Very loud, annoying beep, but. Uh, might be a way to silence that beep on there. Silent feature, correct there is. Hold the number one button for three to five seconds until the lock beeps twice.
There you go. So now it's silent. So that's good to know. It is also lighted too, which is really nice. It provides you uh, with uh, keys as well. So yep, keys are provided as well. So uh, make sure you have keys and fobs if you're using the fobs. And if the batteries do go out, you have a key as well. So lock again. One, two, three, four. Lock. And it locked. Look at that. Let's go ahead and give it a shot here. And it is locked. Oops. We have to wait for the light to go out. There you go. And you can hear it. Uh, working inside uh, the little gears turning here somewhere to that uh, the key fob currently is in the off position so let's go ahead and turn that in the on position this is the key fob uh, that they provide and one set of locks two set of locks let's go ahead and see here lock one uh, we probably have to program it here yep code reset fob learn yeah so we we have to uh program the fob uh, for uh, the door with the new code uh, that you will be using. And it does give you some fancy uh, instructions on the back here on how to program that. Uh, when you're trying to program your remote, uh, you want to make sure that the switch is in the on position, a short push of the key fob learn button, and then uh, hit the lock on your, on your key fob. Uh, to sync the two. Um, something I learned is make sure that uh, I showed you earlier how to turn the audibles off on this so they weren't beeping. If you do turn the audibles off before you program it, uh, you will not hear the long beeps uh, saying that it's ready to be programmed. Learned. So make sure the audibles are on uh, during this these steps so you can make sure that you can hear the beeps. Uh, we were able to go ahead and program our remote and, uh, and the keypad as well. Uh, you do have to poke program the keypad first and then the remote will learn it uh, but just to make sure that the old codes are not in here still yeah, the old codes are not working so that's good so the default code uh, so we'll go ahead and unlock it and we'll put in the default uh, unlock code And it is staying unlocked. So uh, the new code, uh, uh, replacing the new code does remove the old code. So it does hold one code at a time. Uh, the remote does have two uh, different learns on it. So in case you have a front and a back door, uh, you can have a front and a back door remote on there. Uh, but as you can see here, our remote uh, with key fob, uh, we went ahead and programmed it. And it go ahead and lock. And it'll go ahead and unlock it. And it works wonderful. And we'll go ahead and use this uh, this season, see how it performs, and uh, we'll do a follow up in one of our trailer videos and uh, uh, how it's doing and how long the batteries last and if we've had any issues with it. So um, I did find one thing that I'll need to do uh, just so it's this is more of a, a hard plastic uh, where the original manufacturer's lock uh, was more metal. So on the harder to shut doors where you have to give them a good tug to, to shut. Uh, this one is more plastic. I mean, you can see it flexing there when I'm pulling on it. Um, so I will I'll probably have to sh uh, shim the back side of this uh, lock a little bit or to get it to come forward more. I did take the actual strike plate off to check fitment and the door closes a lot easier without the fitment plate. So uh, this plate here, I may just uh, shim the holes a little bit more so it comes forward more. Or I can remove some of, you can see where the insulation is pressing here along uh, the lock area where that strike plate is. And that's probably where some of the resistance is coming from. So other than that, you, yeah, you don't want to be pulling your door shut one night and break off uh, the back of the system here. Uh, the only thing I say that probably could have been a little bit better on this is could have been made out of metal. The whole uh, bottom plate here on the back rather than plastic. So just kind of keep that in mind and uh, look for a solution 
uh, to making your door a little bit easier to shut to accommodate the, the plastic handle if you do have to pull hard on it. Some of these doors have some real tight insulation uh, on them, you know, because these are trailers are pretty sealed well, well up for the uh, the four seasons uh, climate. So um, keep that in mind, and I'm going to make that fix here real quick so we don't uh, break off the back of this. So, uh, but it is a very simple install. Um, I'd say it take maybe a little bit longer than ten minutes, you know, because I was trying to figure the extra piece out and uh maybe 15 20 minutes if i had to do another one uh definitely 10 minutes so 10 minutes for someone that knows uh, that's done it before um probably a little bit longer but no big install maybe a, on a difficult level a one to five you know you're looking at maybe a one or two but uh, very simple so i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe